down. I'm gonna make sure these bastards remember my fucking name. Outstanding. Greetings gamers, Pemby66 here, I uh, thought I'd create myself uh, <laughs> as a boxer, just for this video. It's only in fight now against the computer, but it is on the greatest of all time level, and I do turn all the, you know, the, H, the, HUD, the HUD display, uh, uh, turn it all off, you know, because it does help me. But this video is about, uh, I want to talk about my YouTube future, basically, because I'm feeling a little bit depressed right now, and I don't want to piss people off, and they just want to click off, you know. I ought to try and make it entertaining, you know, you know what I'm like in my own way. I've been posting nothing but kill zone. There's a bloody good reason for that. You know? It's the most most entertaining game out there for me. It does exactly what I expect it to do, you know. The only annoying aspect about it is the grenade deaths I suffer. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But anyway, I thoroughly thoroughly recommend that game if you like shooters. Don't bother with Battlefield 4 on PS3 and Xbox 360. Don't bother, don't bother. Unless you like playing Team Deathmatch, you will probably be pretty damn good for that. But anyway, my YouTube future, I, I realized that um, when I started, it was this game that got me any kind of notice. In, 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 notice in any way, I should say, you know? Um, and I, you know, I, I am loyal to people who subscribe to me because of this game, but I don't play it anymore. For then, and this game will probably obviously show you why. You know, even when there's no online issues to contend with, there's still problems that I find that really, really piss me off. Right? And when I hear about people saying, "Oh, he's docking me," he's a shitbag. It's a fucking video game. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Let's see if I can stop Ali from knocking me out. I've, I've not played. Oh shit! I've not. <laughs> Piss off. I've not played it for a long time. But uh, what I'm looking for is the freezing, the game slow down. Yeah, see there when he dived forward? I didn't instruct him to do that. I was of the impression that when you rotate the analog stick, you dive forward like that, in that motion. You know? And that's another thing, because all I'm doing is backing off, or doing the back steps straight, or whatever, you know. Or the uppercut. But when he's like bobbing and weaving like that and rushing forward, more often than not he gets clouted right in the face, you know, it's Go on, punch yourself out, you dickhead. Anyway, I see the future of my channel as I'm a PS4 or an Xbox six sorry, an Xbox One, you know, being a must have console. Either one or possibly both, you know. But Right now, see you've done it again. What is he diving forward for, the daft bastard? <laughs> see, I, can't, I just can't be. I, I can't be doing with this game, you know. And then, see, there's a freeze. And when you play the computer, Jesus, don't even bother trying to hit him to the body. See, look, he just taps him. I won't hit you very hard, mammy. Don't worry, I'll just tap you. I've got, I've got tremendous respect for you. <laughs> You know, so right now I've, I've really fallen on hard times, you know, partly my own fault, partly because I'm just unlucky. Um, but like I say, I don't want to depress people, you know, with stories of my problems. But I realise that my YouTube future, you know, I, I can't just keep doing Killzone 2 and Killzone 3, even though, you know, I know a lot of guys are really into that game, but... How much are they going to be into those games when Shadowfall is at its height? You know, if Shadowfall proves to be a really, really good game, and obviously the Killzone 2 players are going to play it less and less and less. And not only that, I've been posting games against the bots. You know, I've got, I've got games against the bots on my hard drive. But basically, the the games where I've turned all the heads up display off I've turned all that off and uh, the cross says so it makes it a lot more interesting 
and they, they, they look really good but I'm thinking who's going to watch them when they know full well it's against bots because when you get a 32 player 32 player online you know match especially on Radic Academy it's the most crazy game you'll ever see in your life but I'm just trying to see if I've still got you know some skill in playing this game I've lasted the first round fuck off I've lasted the first round anyway but when it comes to YouTube, you know, I love computer gra graphics. That's why I'm into Cinema 4D. Uh, that's why I'm into um, recording games in the first place. And I, I can't just use a capture card. You know me. I've got to use something that captures these images in a proper HDMI. You know, really, really clearly. Otherwise, I just w don't want to bother. You know. But... The problem with this Bandicam thing is, I don't know if it's to do with my PC, but when I set my display settings for 1080p, especially this game, because it can be run in 1080p, if you look on the back of your game case, Fight Night Chapin, Champion says 1080p up to resolutions of 1080p, whereas Killzone only goes to 720. So if you set your display settings accordingly, whatever game has been programmed to display in 1080, it will, it, you know, it'll do just that. But when I, that was a nice counter there, when I um, set my display settings for 1080 and I put this game on, I know it's going to run in 1080, you know, on the screen, on my TV. And when I try recording it with Bandicam, it's crap. It's, you get the, you know, it's visually very good, very clear, like, like you're seeing now. But it looks like it's been recorded at one to two frames a second. It's very jerky and shit. So I think that's something to do with my computer. It's getting on my nerves, this fella. I'm gonna have him. I'm take him out now. <laughs> have it back. Have it back, Mohammed. You know, I mean, I have to shout out to the Sackmeister or Sakuraba, or well, basically Sakuraba. That's that's his, uh, you know, his main channel, and it's good to see that he's had his problems sorted out. You know, views and everything. Dave the Rip One, Dot Dosa, Relapse, Rhythm Works. I mean, you're all, you're all, I consider you're all friends, you know. Well, not everybody's going to get on with each other, you know. Look at this, I'm trying to remember what I wanted to say while I'm trying to beat Muhammad Ali, you know what I mean? I've not played the game for months. But, uh,. Shout out to Red Eye Jedi as well, because he's one guy. See, what, what's he diving forward for? I didn't ask him to. Fucking knobhead. Sorry, excuse me, language. <laughs> go on, go on. Go on, go for it. Go on, go on. I'm giving you a chance, Mohammed. Go on. I don't think I'll do that again. He's just got so, a long, he's got a longer reach, so. You know, that straight right of his is a killer. I better uh, make him miss a little bit more. You know, I mentioned uh, Red Eye Jedi there. He's um, somebody who also records with Bandicam. But one thing I've learned with computers over the years and the internet is when you want decent programs that'll help you in YouTube. Believe me, once you know what you're doing, they're easy to get hold of. The likes of Sony Vegas, Cinema 4D, um, After Effects, which I have got but I don't use. They're so easy to get hold of, you know, when you know how. But, uh, all I want to be is creative and use the tools that help me to do that, you know, so to get these videos looking the way they do, anybody can do it, you know, I'm nothing special. Oh, come on, have a rest, Pemby. See, all these trainer audios, I've turned them off, as well as the commentary, the trainer audios got on me fucking nerves, Jesus, you know. Give them some water, give them some water. He's like, yeah, what else, do I, what do I need to do, mate? I'm losing this fight, what the fuck do I need to do? Or, uh, give them some water. That's all you get. I'll turn the cunt off. Sorry, the, turn the, the bastard off. 
Come on, punch yourself out, Muhammad. I, you know, one thing Muhammad Ali always portrayed in this game, ridiculously durable. See that? Straight right through then. It's like he's frightened to, he's frightened to extend his arm. Um, I'll give you um, a quick recap on Mr. Cock. He's now working the local takeaway. He's, uh, he's put on about five stone. Or he's put on a hundred pounds, as you American guys say. He's uh, one fat motherfucker. So you won't be seeing him anytime soon. And it's all because this game gets on me nerves. See, dive forward again then. I did not ask you to do that! <laughs> this winds me up, the game really winds me up to slow down the actually because it's the first time I've played this for a long time I've not noticed much in the way of slowdown but right, right now currently I'm on 67s I didn't ask you to do that Tessa. right now currently I'm on 167 subscribers and a lot of my recent subscriptions have come because of Killzone Killzone 3 and Killzone 2 and um, if you're watching this game, this gameplay, and it's not kills on two, then I take my hat off to you. But uh, come on, let's attack the body. Let's do the sack. Come on, come on, you fucker. The thing with I find against this computer is programmed unfairly. <coughs> the other day, well, not the other day. Oh, it, was, it was quite a while ago actually, because I've not been playing the game. Um, I I managed to connect with at least five R2 punches, and then the computer just jabbed me to the body, and I was stunned, and ended up getting knocked out. You know, things like that happen. This that pissed me off. And don't get me started on the online version, you know. So yeah. If you get got a game that's heavy on the animation, I mean this is based on animation this game. You know? It's not based on gun physics or anything like that or car handling physics obviously. It's you know, it's basically an animation game. And when you when you have got a boxer who does what you're wanting him to do, throw a left hook, throw a right hook, a right uppercut to the body, a left uppercut to the body, whatever, you want him to do exactly that. You don't want the game to just freeze while you're in the middle of pressing buttons or moving that stick. You know, it's another reason why I put the game down. Come on, Pemby. Oh, yes, P66. It's won every round. See? Stop diving forward, you dick. You're going to get... He's going to get fucking knocked out here. Come on. Don't keep open block all the time. See your body punches against a computer. You feel like you've got the power of a fucking three-year-old. That's another thing that annoys me. Every time I lose to the computer in this game, I feel cheated. Come on. What the fucker? <laughs> come on, come on, Ali. You got more than that. Come on. Get your hands up. It's taking longer to play this than I thought, you know. Look, he's fucked. Oh no, this can't be going. It's, it's only the fourth round, is it? Thing with Ali is very, very durable. I'm gonna get him with it. There we go. It's like if you're too close, you know that mechanic just doesn't work. You know, and he throws a straight right. Come on, give me the opportunity for the spammers move. Just gonna have to conserve my uh, stamina here because I can see me just having just no power left. I'm winning the fight easily. 
but you just know he's going to have too much. You're just going to have too much for me, you know, in the later rounds. So let's see if I can knock the mother out. See what I mean? See what I mean? If that, ah! That's why I don't play this con uh, bugger of a game. Nearly swore, said something bad then. But going back to the fu my fu future of my YouTube channel, you know, I don't see it being that bright right now. Because financially, um, you know, I'm not doing so good. And uh, these, these consoles are expensive. Plus, you've got to keep your internet going, of course. Oh, lovely. Get down. It's very rare you stun the computer to the body, but there we go. Nice uh, flurry to put him down. But this guy gets up time and time again. My fighter's only got an overall of 90. You know, I never go above that. Oh, oh I got away with it. He's stuffy bleeder. He's got away with it. Hopefully I can stun him again, you know, I can keep making him, you know, throw punches and missing. Um, I re all I wanted for this video was say a few things, what's on my mind, future of my channel and everything, and have a quick fight, but I've picked the wrong fighter to fight against. And it's just the game itself it's just you know when it works it works great but when it doesn't it doesn't work very well at all just got to take my time here come on you fucker oh lovely you're joking aren't you he got out of that quick, didn't he? Sure, the computer does it on purpose. Come on, Ali, come on. I should have chose David Hay. He's very easy to beat in this game. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, another thing with this game is, you know, when you play somebody online, um, the matters, how serious people take this game, Jesus, they forget, it's just a video game. You know, and you can see beyond what you're doing in the game, you know. I mean, it's a fighting game, I know. And a lot of guys who think they can fight a little bit and then they win, oh, lovely. Then they, they think they can fight a little bit and then they get beat in games like this, they, they're like, Full of rage, but I don't think like that, you know. I get angry at the way the game doesn't work sometimes, you know. Don't get up, don't get up. <laughs> yes. Oh, what a comeback. Well, it's not a comeback really, but I hope you'll explain quite a lot there about the, the lack of Fight Night Champion content and uh, YouTube in general, and, you know, how I see my future. And the future of YouTube for everybody. You know, you got to keep up with the times. I'm Pimby66. I hope you continue to watch my channel, watch my con content. Content? What the fuck's that? Content. <laughs> um, and uh, enjoy the Killzone stuff because there's more of that to come. You know, because it is. There's a very good reason why I play that game. And if you give it a chance, you'll see why. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, be good. Catch you later.